Hey guys, let's see bringing you another video. Welcome back to uh, The Climb. So we are Diamond 2 5 LP. It's a new recording day. Full disclosure, I am tired. So I'm actually doing this on a Wednesday afternoon after the gym. And yeah, I normally don't stream on a Wednesday, but I basically said I want to stream for 10 days in a row. The reason being, and I'll be pretty open and honest, is since the holiday, things haven't really recovered amazing. And, you know, it doesn't one deserve to recover or it won't recover if I don't put a lot of time in. So that's kind of the thought process of streaming 10 days in a row. Um, so we're playing today will be a support record session. We're only going to play two or three solo queue games anyway. We're against a duo queue, but they don't look to be very good uh, on Senna. Uh, Garen has a negative win rate on 62 games. That is a that is a considerably bad win rate in 62 games. Yone looks pretty good and is a Jax main, so it must be a two trick maybe. Uh, Viego's a Smurf, and I, I do think Viego, by the way, is back being like stupidly strong, and uh, he might even be getting a patch next buff. I have seen that today is a uh, patch preview, and a few of the buffs that they announced, so like uh, Viego, uh, Yone, etc., they they haven't made it to the patch preview because they probably saw the whole community going, "What the hell are you doing?" So, which is quite funny. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. But hopefully we'll have a good game. Hello, Luchton. Hey, Windbang. So so nice. I might have said misspoke because I, I could fall asleep right now. So they're going to do... Uh, they'll be doing Farming Tam Kench. Is it called Fasting Center? That's what they'll be doing. Very fun, fun, fun. So they, the enemy team look to invade... Like, Tam Kench was coming here to go here, by the way. And then three of them go over here? Like, what the heck? That's quite aggressive. Hopefully this Sparrows is not bad. I mean it's one health potion. What could it cost? Ten thousand gold. Imagine if Oh Put down Bush Wookie. This duo doesn't seem very good. Already used heal and exhaust, where Varus just used ghosts, so that's cool. I'll take that trade happily. Oh, Varus, that last hitting wasn't great there, buddy. If you keep the Tam Kench low, by the way, it ruins their whole comp. The, the whole point of this is basically Tam gets to go all in and has a center in the back line healing him and stuff. So if you keep the Tam Kench low, there's nothing they can do, which is quite fun. Ari, okay, I was going to say, is Ari coming bot lane already? Uh oh. We can fight. Like, bruh. Oh. Yeah, we're fine. I don't think we get all three, but we get two. 
That Vi went for a crazy play then. I don't know. Do you guys see that? Like the Vi went for a Q, which I looked like she was going for me, and she changed her mind and went for Varus with a flash. Hey, nice, Mr. Bossy. Level 20 achieved on Marvel. Again, just want to say special shout out. I don't know how many of the YouTube community has done the Marvel. If, if you have, if you're just from the YouTube community, please let me know in the comments. But all I'll say is you guys have absolutely killed it. And I've been pretty open and honest about like how much I'm getting paid for it. Um, you know, if you got level 7, you gave me $4. If you get, get level 20, you give me $5. If you get level 18, you give me $18. And by the end of it, which we've got like near enough two days left, it's kind of... <laughs> It's a bit depressing sometimes to say, but this sponsor is actually going to be paying well over a month of YouTube for me. And for those that are like, why is that bad? It's not bad. It's amazing. But, you know, a whole month of YouTube content is a lot of work. Two videos a day, every day, all the thumbnails, all that stuff. And this sponsor is going to be paying probably, and dare I even say, like 40% over. Um my youtube norm which is like damn where's the enemy bot lane oh running mid huh this duo has no idea what they're doing uh, yeah, we're, we're likely going to be doing one of these type of sponsorships once a month. And I've, I've said that because, like, you know, it does help out a lot. I would do less of them or I wouldn't do them like I didn't for many years, you know. Um, if the happy number was always at the happy number, I wouldn't take these sponsorships. But as you can probably all see, we've not been at the happy number for a while. So, which, you know, is what it is. But, you know, this definitely helps out. So... No, I would not do. I would if I get full time job or whatever. I would not be uh, doing these type of sponsorships. That's a random exhaust, though. I was trying to hold W for the Varus. Damn it! I should have used it. Raid Shadow Legends is something that people even on Twitch chat recently have said I should do. I've all I've always resisted it. Like legit, I've always resisted Raid Shadow Legends. But the Twitch chat is basically saying, you know, hey, nice Adam. People have said Raid Shadow Legends is in essence the Marvel game, but a high fantasy version, not a Marvel version. So uh, maybe next month we'll do a Raid Shadow Legends. I don't know. Um, I feel a bit weird about doing it. Not gonna lie, but you know, if it helps out and, and it definitely does, you know. Well, put it this way. I, I, again, I, I know people find it fascinating, you know, learning a bit more about, like, sponsorship and the content creator world. So, if I did everything, and I mean everything, when it comes to this sponsor, the Marvel sponsor, I would have got about $5,000. Um, but obviously, that's never going to happen, because that basically required 67 people all spending the money to get the Power Core pack. Yeah, we're not 67 people aren't going to do that, obviously. Uh, right now, we have five people that have done it, and I even appreciate, you know, I really appreciate that. Like, what? You guys definitely can't do Dragon right now. Like, come on. Um, so, yeah, just to put it, that, that was it. If, if I did every single target, every single one on Marvel, it'd be about $5,000, okay? We're probably going to near enough be about half of that. Maybe a bit under half. Which is still amazing, by the way, for a sponsorship. Raid Shadow Legends? If we did everything in the sponsor requirement, we get $23,000. <laughs> Which, obviously, again, you're never going to do the maximum amount. It's kind of designed to not let you do the maximum amount. But yeah, is that that's Raid Shadow Legends, you know? So even if I got, again, I'd be happy with 10% of that, you know? 10% of that's incredible. 
So next month, maybe, and that's what I was even saying, if the YouTube audience, if you guys want to help out and you like what I do, maybe, hopefully, you know, you can help out. Uh, I've already, I've, I've pinged my sponsor people, and because of how well the Marvel one has done, basically, we all, you know, some sponsorships, and the Marvel one is, is one that we're doing, you get a base pay. So I, for this Marvel one, I'm getting paid $600 just to do it in the first place. And then everything that you guys do, basically, it makes it go up. I basically said to them, I'll do a Raid Shadow Legends one, but I want the base pay to be higher. Because it's $600 again. So I basically said, hey, if you give me $1,200 to $1,000, then I will do a Raid Shadow Legends. So it's more guaranteed income because I don't know how well the Raid one will go. My argument to them was Raid has been out for a billion years. Every single content creator and their mum has been sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. So the likelihood a lot of my audience have already done it for other content creators... So I don't know how many of my audience will be able to help. I've got no... Because, you know, a bunch of you have probably already done Raid Channel Legends for another streamer or another YouTuber. So, I don't know. That ghost wasn't great. Sam is really bad with his uh, exhausts. Yeah, you could if you've done it before, you can just make a new account. I, I am aware you can do that. So I'd really appreciate if we are doing it next month. I'd really appreciate that, obviously any help because it makes a big difference. It really does. Uh, they healed. Alright, we get four, they get two. Okay. Okay. See if they come here and base. And a TP? Like, bro. Oh my god, it's four people. I, I think I should have waited a bit longer. Oh my god, four people bot lane. Okay, well, that sucks. This duo is awful, but they're getting help. Um, it take If you want to get... Le level 7 is the bare minimum that you need to get to. That genuinely takes maximum 30 minutes. Like, gen genuinely. You can do that in today's stream. You know, you might be able to do it in this match, depending how long this match lasts. Nice, dude. Let's go. Um, level 20, couple of hours. Um, level 30, a bit more. Again, just as a little tip, if you want to quickly help with the Marvel one, in the top left, when you actively are doing combat, there's a times one, times two, times three. That's how fast the animations go. Just put it on times three, you know? It speeds it up by three times. That's a big speed increase. Fire has left my lap. Or well, not lap, but feet. Kill him, Yone! He misplayed. Dude, the enemy team is just all grouping because they're individually not doing well. Fuck you. And I don't rate Senna Tam Kench duo. You do that because you can't play normal bot lane. Wait, he's actually going for it. I get one shot. Oh, I love modern League of Legends damage. Ain't it balanced? Yeah, I don't know why Viego did that. 
That was weird. Oh, I can't wait for another durability patch. Wait, why did Varus go top? Varus, I know he like the standard is oh you you swap to top lane, but we were thinking about doing dragon. Wait, was Garen bushwalking? I think Garen legit was bushwalking. That's quite. Turtle Gaming TTV, 18 months of Prime. Thank you so much, my dude. Appreciate it, appreciate it. God. They're just, again, they're just chain grouping, like legit. Enemy team, they can't do well individually, so they genuinely are going into every fight with minimum three people. That is what they're doing. Diana's getting caught by the duo. She's dead. We've just lost all control this game, which we were doing good. Which is a bit weird. Hmm. Not ideal, but oh well. Um... Oh, that was a really bad bar assault. That would have been a nice kill on Vi. I want to kill that. Apparently not. Wait, what? You only died again? Oh, two people. Again, they're just constantly outnumbering us. There's no 1v1s going on this game whatsoever. That's a bit lame. That's a bit lame. We might be able to just walk over the enemy team later, though, to be fair. I don't think their comp is very scary. The hell, bro? Like, what are their moves? Like, genuinely, they're just waiting in bushes. I don't understand. Like, they genuinely are in a bush over here. Why? It's so weird. Ah, I'm alive. Oh, I got you, bud. Oh, I nearly saved the Varus with my shield. Oh, that was so close. Hey, Luke Crusader. Yeah, I normally don't stream on Wednesdays, but as I said, I'm streaming every day for 10 days in a row. Well, that went well. I do think we genuinely just walk over the enemy comp eventually, by the way. Oh. Really? Did she get ult up again? Bro, they need to do something about malignance. This item is stupid. It is... Okay, then the overstay is real. It is really stupid, this item. Wait, what? What is going on? Barris! Go and help the Diana, bro! Fiesta... Uh... You can get it. Get it. They're stupid. <laughs> what is this game? Everyone's just misplaying. Like, there's so much misplay going on. Oh. Said a hit, hop, the hit, the hit, and I'm saying my life, and I believe in all of you. Was that a hit? Hop, the hit.
Wait, Ari went top. Really? Kill the bummed. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Uh, you can still sub with Amazon Prime, yeah. Oh, nice. They got the kill. If Diana lives that, that's hilarious. Like, what? Why is Garen and Ari next to each other at this stage of the game? Like, that doesn't make any sense that they'd be the two solo laners are just standing next to each other. Like, strategically, that's awful, by the way. Like, that doesn't make sense. Those are the two players you want to get solo XP, and they're standing next to each other when Dragon's available. Like, what? Where's the logic? Hello. That was a bad ollie. Oh, the Garen silence. Okay, I got the kill, but I was scared for my life. Enemy teams is falling apart, like genuinely. Can we do this? I don't know. Like Yone, hello. You gonna? Uh -oh. Are you planning to come and help or no? This is bad. This is what we get of having a teammate not come over. Finish the battle! No! I, try I tried, man! Where are you going? This Varys and Yone just don't really seem to want to be involved massively. What the heck? Help. And the Yone's feeding, he's, he's it's a typical bad Yone player, to be honest. Don't just don't try to do red by yourself. Time to collect what I'm owed. I'm so looking forward to bed, by the way. Oh my god, it's gonna be lovely. Some people say that you can't believe you can make it. Wait, you exhausted me? Hey, 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 I got the kill on the time because the center got the kill. Well, I nearly mucked that up. Does it do more damage if you're in it? Or no? It does. Okay. It should, because it's a higher risk, because you're going in. In you, Pendy. Where the passion goes sweet. Ah, what the hell, bro? I'm actually quite happy with how I've played this game, by the way. With again, genuine, I am shattered. I am. I'm gonna ask Queen Pleb if it's okay. I can go to bed early today. Like, I'm literally kidding. I want to go into bed at like 7 p.m. Right now, it's 3 p.m. I've got a bit of video work I need to do, but I won't go to bed. I'm so tired. Again, the two solo laners should not be together, but that's how... Again, the only way that this enemy team has done anything this game... Like, genuinely, if you look into this game, is they're all being together when it doesn't make sense. 
That's the only way that they've actually done anything. Because they're individually doing a lot worse. This enemy team is so bad. I don't know what Varus was really doing, if I'm honest. Like we we got we should have gone here, get that in and then just get bottom in hib, but I don't know. He was being greedy or something. I'm not sure. I don't really trust this Varus very much. What the heck? Oh yeah, he has a random Zonyas with a on hit AD build, by the way. I no idea. I can and he's he's doing the same build on Varus. This is he's done two games before this on Varus, the exact same build with the Zonyas as well. I don't know. I can be blue, I can be green, I can be everyday ball, I can be up, I can be pop a little bit you want. He might be preparing that QSS is getting less useful. By the way, apparently in Freak's patch rundown, obviously they've announced um, they've announced that uh, Maud obviously is not going to be um, QSSable anymore. Oh. Uh, yeah, Maud Ulti is not going to be QSSable. So, uh, apparently, one thing he said in his patch rundown, apparently they are tempted that Mal's ult might not be uh, QSSable pretty soon. He used Garen ult on a support! Oh, bro. Wow, okay. GG. Yeah, I mean, if, if it's not going to be good in that avenue, they may as well just get rid of the item. Maybe they, they are planning on getting rid of it. I don't know. Because in, in essence, it's just going to be useless. Uh, I'd say QSS, ultimately, the two biggest uses has been historically Malzahar and Maud. And Maud's one is going away. And apparently they are tempted to make it not work on Mal's ult too. I'm surprised the enemy team in some ways are still playing this game because like the likelihood of us winning is stupidly high. We're actually playing it a bit iffy if I'm honest like we should probably just uh, group up get the inhibs but I don't know we're not really doing that. Uh, the air is so much I can be up I like a people anything you like. Pop. I don't know if he purposely did that. I don't think. Uh, I don't think he did. Power can be bought. Much like loyalty. Would I surrender if I was on the enemy team? Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe not. But I would. I would still be in the mentality of like we don't. We probably don't win this. The later it goes. Am I actually getting focused? Like, guys. Darren! I'm a support! You! Like, you. What? Two fights in a row, the Garen's focus is a Renata. That's just trolling. 
Like, there is not another word for that. That is just straight up trolling his own team. Jesus. Esu. Yeah, he used Ignite on me as well. But a support. Weird. He does have a 37% win rate on Garen and it's his main champion, so... Yeah. That might be uh, a bit of the explanation to what's going on. Yeah, I, I was quite confident to win this game because the duo, like, without sounding bad, when I see Senna and Tom Kenches, I don't ever really think they're going to do great. I, and they, those two players, by the way, auto-filled, and they decided to play Senna and Tam. It's because they know they're not good in bot lane, they're auto-filled, so they're trying to do something a bit, well, a bit cheesy, in essence. And, yeah, individually, they weren't very good. But, yeah, we did overall quite well. I'm going to give it to the Viego. I think he played good. Had good control. Ooh, plus 22. But, um, again, MMR is doing pretty good, has to be said. So that's great. Uh, we went 4 8 20. So evolved in 24 kills. Not bad. Oh, did I get. Uh, apparently, I forgot to do the scene. Sorry, I am tired. Thank you, Twitch chat. Otherwise, I would have just kept waffling there for a while. Um, yeah, we went 4 8 20. We gained 22 LP. Uh, I'll show you there. There you go. 22 LP. Um, yeah, really good game, to be honest. 17k damage, not too bad for a Renata who isn't really designed to do damage. Um, yeah, kind of a straightforward game. The, the way that I think the enemy team had to win this, well, I don't know. When they started doing their strategy of only doing things when they were grouping up, I think in some ways, and some people are like, really? In some ways, I think they lost the game by doing that because it basically made them only do things at a very small time, like in pockets of like, they had to commit three players to do one thing. Three players to do one thing. So the other side of the map, we were always gaining something else. Oh, uh, Sisorath Sinoi. Hopefully I didn't butcher that. Two months tier one. So it's just got a notification off that after 10 years of being a night blue three sub, my sub ran out. Apparently he does not auto renew after 10 years. Wait, what? Really? So I decided to sub to a purchase I actually watched, mostly lurking, for the last 10 years. You now got my sub for at least the next 10 years. Wish you all the best and congrats on the engagement. Very happy for you. Oh, it's a very kind message. Thanks, dude. Wait, what? It doesn't continue after 10 years. That's kind of nuts. Wow. I did not know that. Well, we don't obviously have a 10-year Twitch subscriber yet because I think I've... How long have I been a partner for? If I type in chat... Sorry, this is including in the YouTube video because I'm interested now. If I go meep... I have been subscribed to myself, because you uh, uh, you always uh, get subscribed to yourself, for 116 months. That is 9.6 years. So I will be 10 years, I guess, this year. Four more months. Wow. Uh, so Coda isn't um, at like that amount of subs, because he went away for like five years. Cyclone Virus also with a gifted sub. We actually hit 850 subs again, so we are 50 subs away from doing a 12-hour stream. That'd be awesome. Anyway, that's going to be it. I'm going to need to end the video. If you guys did enjoy, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Crawl down.